Hey, it's Robbie D and this is Controversy. We're back in Controversial Truth. That's right, it's been a long time. We've been busy. Maybe you can update them and let them know what we've been up to, Controversy. Exactly. So you take on all this stuff, you put it all on your plate, and again, just one big bite and you just crunch it and you're where you are. I mean, when it's flat earth, it's exciting, right? I mean, it's like a delicious meal every day. There's so much going on and I'm excited. And it's great to be finally back in the studio. It's been so long and yeah. it's great. So what, what, uh, what's what been going on? Not much, man. Yeah. Um, other than, uh, obviously, I did announce to my, to my fans, to my followers that I did get married, obviously. Uh, That's I'm right. officially off the market. I think my wife wants to hear that. So it definitely is there. That's basically one of the things that's been up. But uh, as far now, and we when we go now to the flat Earth movement, I don't even know if I should. What, is it called a movement? I always say community. I yeah, say the flat Earth community. community, right? Because again, we know that the Earth doesn't move. It's yeah, it's so not. Like we have a movement, but again, again, it's just a term. Yeah. But I like going with flat Earth community myself personally because yeah. it is kind of ironic when we say flat Earth movement, the and, whole and, movement and that teaches the Earth doesn't move. <laughs> so that's it's kind of fun. And and you know with uh, this topic with the word flat earth it comes with a lot of controversies around it and it it's something that causes a stir in people and it's something that actually causes a division even inside churches though you have the bible on your on your side and you can use scripture to prove that what we've been given cosmology cos, uh, the, the cosmology wise it, if it doesn't match the bible the bible says otherwise and when you look at the evidence the evidence of, real, of the earth, of the reality of a world justifies the Bible. You know, it seems like the the people in the church, especially leaders and elders, they definitely have an issue with people talking about the forbidden words known as the flat earth movement, in fact, or, or flat earth, should I just say. And that's where this guy right here, Robbie D, he's actually had some experiences that, I, that he's going to be sharing also in the, in the conference, but I don't know if you, if you wanna share some of that. Sure, I mean, I, I can basically just say that I'm gonna be sharing my personal story on uh, what's happened over the last two years with my family. And uh, I'm gonna be releasing that at the conference, at the first conference, Flat Earth in Canada. And again, that's happening here in less than uh, seven days. So now we're kicking off, we're gonna be doing the conference and uh, I am gonna be sharing my story. But I actually, just before we started recording tonight here in the studio, I got a call from someone and they mentioned just on Sunday, one of these churches that I actually used to go to, they were mentioning Flat Earth right from, right from the pulpit. Again, it wasn't part of the sermon, but it was some announcements. And again, this is a, a lady that, you know, is afraid to come out and, and talk about it because of the public ridicule and the persecution that comes from this topic. And they'll say in one breath that it's no big deal, who cares? But in the other breath, they're saying, wait a minute, this is a big deal because they're over and over talking about this topic, not just in churches, right across the board. Look at the media, look at the, the search results. And you're gonna see so many people, if they think it's so crazy, why are they coming out to discredit it? And that even exactly. falls into the whole thing even with YouTube. If you start doing a search now for Flat Earth on YouTube, they've completely now buried all the results of legitimate YouTubers now, yeah. and all you see are debunking videos and mainstream media, and that's only happened recently. Yeah. So they're moving in a way to make sure that people don't get this information. So it's so important that you share videos like this, get the word out, because again, over time, how much time do we have left? We don't really have much time. The thing is like with the changes that's taking place uh, social media wise, and especially the big platform, which we all know and love, known as YouTube, you know, we don't really have much of an open space to share this in, this information. For example, um, the, there's a video that I that I that I shared on my uh, the, my recent upload was about the buzz the buzz. I was about to say Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> <laughs> That's Disney. They're connected. So yeah, yeah, well, they are connected. Enough. Buzz Lightyear, you know, Buzz Aldrin. But but that 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 video I tried to or, to upload the original file in its full entirety, and when I did upload it onto my channel. It, 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 it literally took one like one minute just uploaded it and then instantly as soon as it finished processing I got flagged that video got blocked and it was removed and I couldn't even there was nothing I, I had no idea what was going on and then little did I know that this would actually affect this guy's channel and a few other big youtubers who have uploaded the original video on their on their channels 
Um, maybe you can touch into that as, yeah. to, as to what happened because it, it, he got a strike. <laughs> yeah, because I was talking to uh, the controversy and he told me about this video being banned and I'm like, it's on my channel, what's yeah. up? You know, no big deal. So, But I said, surely they're not going to ban this video. That would be too obvious because yeah. they don't want you know what Buzz said to get out. Well, sure enough, I woke up the next morning and all of a sudden I had a copyright strike. They, they flagged it, they took down the video yeah. and I know that it affected ODD TV and other ones. Some you know are reporting that some are up, so I don't know if it's uh, you know random. But, you know, this is something that is important that, uh, you know, moving against YouTube channels that are putting up certain things. Now, I'm fighting a counterclaim on it with YouTube. Yes. Hopefully, I'll have some good results in the next few days. And I think, honestly, you know, because it was just a short segment of that interview and it was for fair use, I think everything's going to work out fine. But again, we're seeing more censorship on YouTube. We're seeing big channels. Um, there was a mm -hmm. recent channel, SGT report, uh, I think at 350,000 subs. Yeah. And instantly, you know, it got banned. There was such a public outcry. Do that it, it got it, reinstated. Like, gone, gone. That channel was a three, three strikes. Oh, while he was what? sleeping, while he was sleeping, woke up and it was gone. And all I'm saying is there was such a big public outcry from like Gons, yeah. um, you know, from Face Like the Sun. A lot of big YouTubers, you know, were completely tweeting YouTube, Team YouTube. And honestly, the, the pressure got it put back on because they didn't Whoa. want to have to deal with the, the legal ramifications. So again, this is happening, but we still have a voice right now. There still are personal rights. There are, you know, the legal system. Mm -hmm. And we've got to use that. We've got to use that respectfully. But again, you know, as a YouTuber and knowing what you do, uh, we know that it can be dicey and it can be a serious issue when we're dealing well, with course. censorship when it comes to these issues like flat earth and that's the thing like uh for me i am more like well my channel first of all it's it's no secret it's called the controversy seven and i've already been flagged a few times and i my channel was suspended um about a year and a half maybe two years i received a strike i had two strikes i was i was one more strike away from being terminated from youtube one more strike and you know what they did they went all the way back to a video that I had uploaded back in like 2014 or 2000, like you know, 13 or something, and then they flagged those videos, and then they give me a strike saying, "Oh, this video, this video uh, violates our uh, community guidelines." I get a strike, so they can really hunt you at any time. So yes, um, I know these topics are controversial, especially like when you when you get into flat earth, but I think the best thing that people need to do. Before ridiculing any anything such as this, or before you criticize it, the wise thing would be to go and just research it and see if you can debunk it. If you can debunk it, if you can destroy it, then you know what? Hey, then then you you are in the uh, you are in the in the right. I, I there's a, I was looking at the five thousand dollar challenge. Are you familiar mm -hmm. with that one? Mm -hmm. Um, I didn't look too deep into it, but I, but I'd like to think that it's like uh, it's a challenge that was given to like some big universities, is it not? Yeah, there's a lot of challenges going on right now, and uh, a lot of it comes down to the empirical scientific proof. Yes, you know that we're moving or that we're you know the ball when it comes to the curvature rates at eight inches per mile squared. So yes. again, this just can't be done. And when people find out the reality that there's no experiment from Earth to prove the curvature or the movement of the earth. It really shocks a lot of people, including myself. And like, I think a controversy said it best, you know, when you're looking at this topic, even going out looking at it to debunk it or take it down, that's exactly what we did. We thought this was crazy, this topic. We looked out and there's just an incredible amount of proof. And there's a lot of things pointing to like, we're not being told the truth about everything that they're saying is going on. And again, yeah. it's worth looking into. We should be at a, a day and an age when we can just ask these questions. And we should receive them. Yeah, and we should you know? receive the answers. Um, and so there's nothing wrong with you know just basically asking questions. Yeah. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to be asking a lot of questions, controversy at the Flat Earth International Conference Canada. Yes. And the cool thing about this is it's going to be in our home city. I mean, yeah. you guys maybe are not familiar with the story about how we met, but again, it was funny because he's basically putting a, a phone number on one of his videos, and I looked at it and I said, that's almost my phone number. And that's the irony. Like, yeah, I called him up, I'm like, where are you living? But anyways, we found out that we live in the same city. Well, anyways, this is the first time for Canada. It's gonna be in Edmonton, Alberta, August 9th and 10th. Check it out at the website, fe2018.com. You can find out all the information, but it's gonna be the first time the controversy and I are gonna be together in person. So come out, we'd love to meet you. If you can't, check out the live stream. You can sign up for the live stream on the website and it's gonna be great. Like I said, we've got a lot of stuff planned and it's gonna be a lot of fun. But again, yeah. it's history in the making for Canada, yes. but we're also going to be addressing a lot of these important topics on what's going on about these two words flat earth yep and you know what 
there's going to be so many things that we'll be talking about yes but uh as far as now at this particular video uh is there anything else that we want to no, I, just, I think we, it's important to tell people that we're going to be doing some more recording. Yep. And really, in the comments, put in the comments what you want to see. What do you want us to tackle around this topic, even other topics? Yep. We really want to hear from you. It's important to get your feedback and make sure to subscribe, you know, and like this video and get the word out because it is important. Truth is important and there's a exactly. lot more censorship going on and we really appreciate your support. Yeah, for sure. Um, other than that, I really don't have any more, any, any, anything much to add. Um, Feel free to join us on our web, on our on our YouTube channels. It will all be in the video vi, vi, video description box. I don't know why I'm having these tongue twisters, man. <laughs> it's all good. It will be in the video description box, That's and also it. look up here. We're going to be putting it up here, so our channels are going to be there yes. and down there. So up and down. Yep. That's it. Thank you for tuning in and for joining the Controversy Seven and celebrate truth. You take care of yourselves. You be safe, and we will see you guys next time. Real soon.